All right, ready to start round two. We'll be on the play. Yeah, sure. All right, and the hand's fine. Got something to do on turn two and three. Maybe dig for something exciting. Ah, uh, that's exciting enough. He'll know it's coming, but... Yeah, we, we've done a good job of drawing this card. Not gonna lie. We'll, we'll see what we draw next turn, but... It might be worthwhile holding back this lookout to re-trigger the war caller later on. So that would mean not casting anything this turn. I think that's I think it's worth it. I mean I guess we leave up smite. He might play a target for it, but I, mean, I guess we'd pretty happily just use it on the first thing we see. <laughs> well, that's the target. I I guess we're just gonna. Man, I I mean I don't think we really care about this thing. It doesn't even block. I, I'm actually just going to ignore that. I mean, even even if he has an answer to War Caller on his next turn, we still have a Deathless Behemoth to just kind of blank that thing. I mean, in the meantime, we're going to take four damage, but it might be worth it. That smite. All right. Well, I'm gonna feel pretty good about this game if we untap with a war caller. All right. We did. holding back that removal, no? I mean, you gotta slam it. No, he does have it. Yeah, that was a little greedy. He, he gets totally blown out if he had a pump here, but we don't. Hmm. Alright, so now, how are we gonna do this? We could attack with the Scions. He almost for sure blocks with Blister Pod, though. I uh, yeah, I, I think I'm... I mean, we could also sack a token for the Behemoth. I think we're just going to play the Flyer here. That means taking another hit. That's that's fine. It's also... It's relevant to... Maybe leave behind the, the, the two Scions so we can recur Behemoth if it comes to that. I mean, we are taking an extra four to get the flyer in play. Yeah, the cub. 
bone splinter here or something. Alters reap. We'll pause while we let him figure this out. Unnatural aggression. Right. Oh, on that guy. Eh? Interesting. Left me with the flyer. I don't see too many unnatural aggressions being played. I've had a really hard time playing it myself. Huh. Alright, so he's got the Bone Splinter for a big dude. We're actually going to take some damage here. We don't want to block with our Science because we want to bring this guy back. Yeah. By this point, we might regret not having... Smited that thing. And he's another one too. Jeez. So definitely want to bring this back. Actually, gotta stay back this turn, I think. The order doesn't matter, we're not gonna get that far into the game. The good news is his hand is empty. Bad news, uh, he might just win on the spot with a good top deck. Yeah, I, I, I don't think we want to block here, jump block. Next turn, we can smite for no value, just to prevent the damage, which is going to feel bad. Oh, that's a real good draw. No, we still can't attack with the... Uh, Again, we're going to take a hit here, because with the right draw, we have two turns. We, we have a two-turn clock with our flyers. So we're going to go down to three. Ooh, that's a little. Alright, uh, I think we want to get damage through here, so just those two. We're going to use Smite. 
I don't think he. We actually, we 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 actually, like if he if he taps the mana here, we actually get him pretty good. But I don't think he's gonna sack the the watcher. So we'll just wait to do it on uh, defense. Uh, actually, yeah, we maybe should have just attacked with the griffin and just use smite. Cause then. Then he would have been dead to our next attack unless he's... Well, I mean, he, he could draw many things that would make that not the case, but... Punish him for tapping mana, though. Well, all right. I'm gonna save the smite. All right. Kind of glad I did. Let's let's top deck top deck something here. He's got a chump with the watcher. We may not be able to attack with the angel. Oh, rough. So if he left the griffin, that would have been lethal. Well, that does. It's still not blank. It does save our angel from death. And if he chooses not to block, we kill him. In case he wants to save it for a vampiric, right? So. Alright, I, I mean, I, I guess we're still favored here, right? He has to either sack one of these things, or he has to draw on a blocker. And he's got to tap four mana just to keep his guys around. He's going to sack. That that means he's in trouble here. So he needed a cheap blocker. Did he find one? Yes, he did. That's a pretty good one. All right. Gotta keep the pressure on. Vampiric Rights is so good in the right deck.
a nice one. Yeah, this deck's pretty sweet. I, I like the black green sacrifice deck. I, I I've never played it with skitter skins, but you know what? They're doing some work for him. Hmm. All right, it's a little bit of protection, I guess. Otherwise, we I guess we would have had to stay back with our. Uh, Behemoth. Uh, with our angel. spells here. <laughs> Might as well just do this. So he does he does get to regenerate and sacrifice. He doesn't but if, if he sacrifices, he still needs to hit something cheap enough. I'm sure he's got plenty. Things cheap enough. Hopefully it's not something that replaces itself again, though. Actually, he, he also still ha he has to play something cheap enough and still be able to sacrifice. He maybe wasn't able to actually regenerate his Skinner skin here, because if he doesn't do another sacrifice, he's dead to the angel. I think he sh should have just re sacrificed instead of regenerating. Well, I mean, it depends on if he already had what he needed. No, uh, he just left himself dead. Okay, cool. I don't think there's a one mana black spell that saves him here. Man, this card's absurd in his deck. <laughs> Luckily, he, he just found it now, because <laughs> that card's pretty bonkers for him. All right. Sideboarding. I don't think we can keep up with the Vampiric Rites plan anyway. I don't think we want to try to. Smite definitely has some good enough targets. Flying does seem like a decent plan against him, but I'm not sure we want to bring an Angelic Gift for that. Bring in enchantment removal for vampiric rites. Jeez, that's not very efficient. I mean, rising miasma. Oops, did I did I just submit? Well, I guess so. <laughs> I 
I don't think we were going to bring in Rising Miasma, but maybe there's something else. Alright. I did, I did want to take another look through my deck to see if maybe Angelic Rites was better than something bad, but I totally misclicked there. <laughs> right. Oh, I clicked something different. I was still able to sideboard. Um, okay, no sideboard. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know what I clicked. I, I didn't even know I could do that. Uh, yeah, okay. On the draw, I'm going to keep this. There's just a lot going on if we draw the lands. It's close. It's close because we really need to do... Really need... Do, blah, 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 blah. We really do need to draw a lot of lands to get this going, but... Hey, there's one. Sweet. Uh, I am going to just play out the, the lookout here. It's just... We're just so far away from... Not that the lookout's likely to get in too much damage here, but we're we're so far away from double activating the war caller. Alright, we're gonna need that land train continuing next turn. Surprised you haven't seen like a blizzard pod or something. Oh, he's just had enough of the lookout. All right. Well, drawing out complete disregard is, and getting in for two is definitely doing its job. All right, land. Guess we go ahead with the griffin. Uh, I mean, the downside is if we draw land. We're going to maybe still drop a land without retreat. Ah, we might still just play retreat. No, I think I think we just slam the channeler, actually. This has got a lot of mana. the bullet here. Lose that on retreat value. We can actually sack spawning bed if we like, but with the channel itself. I don't think we're trading if he attacks. Man, what, what kind of hand did he keep? He kept a, a very speculative one? I guess it's not that speculative. If he had an archive, and he can, you know, if he floods, he gets to draw. There's the rights. The rights are so goddamn good in his deck. He, he hasn't found the outlets yet. Um, What do we do here? I mean, we could attack with Channeler and use an Inspire Charge. We could just drop Warcaller. I think I, well, yeah, I think I like cracking. I think I like cracking the Spawning Bed. Especially, you know, he has mana up to just crack the channeler with rights anyway. Oh, jeez. Uh, I, I, F6 there. We maybe wanted to respond with... Nah, I don't think so. We could have responded with Inspire Charge.
I'm, I'm actually wondering whether we want to play the land or not. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we should have attacked with Channeler first. I'm going to offer this trade. Just clears the way for my token army. Uh, he's got a handful of nothing. That's kind of unfortunate. All right, well, we didn't even get to go off. Uh, all right. See you in the finals.